really refreshing to hear the applause when the mining issue came up. I want to thank all of you for that. Um, when we worked on that legislation quite a few years ago, back in 05, um, I kind of felt like a main tape repairman uh, pushing that issue because nobody really wanted, they weren't sure, should we, should we, what should we do? Um, but boy, the support is really gratifying to see that happen here. I was in Antonagon uh, for the last part of last week and I drove 26 over to Hope and they had more yard signs out and having run for campaigns, I gotta tell you that was refreshing too. Uh, support UP mining and the people are getting it and starting to speak out and the silent majority has to rise up and you have started so I want to thank you for that um, because I do believe Michigan's ready to be up in poised to come back and under Governor Snyder's leadership for sure because he's allowed us to come to him with our problems and he's stood up for us. We have solved some of the state problems already when it comes to the regulatory side of it. Um, Governor Snyder put Dan White in place of the DEQ and he has been a breath of fresh air. We just came through the Upper Peninsula a couple weeks ago um, and the Torch Lake issue actually, Dan is fully aware of it. So uh, I would hope that you two some, along the way can connect because it really is something that needs to be corrected and um, he's, he's fully briefed on it. But he has done that and he has given us that opportunity. The biggest problem, the biggest hurdle I see is having today is going to be the federal government um, when they're not happy with Michigan moving forward and somehow they want to hold us down. So a couple of things just want to end with. Um, thinking about that that whole issue with, with regulatory and how they hold us down and, and what, you know, for me, I almost feel like going, I, I feel like sometimes I feel like Moses and it's, there's so many opportunities for us to get out there and go to work and, and just get it done and we can do that and the entrepreneurial spirit can rise up and we can be the greatest state in the country, we can be the best country on the planet again. But I feel like Moses sometimes wanting to yell and scream out, let my people go. The departments and the agencies have to become customers and friends. They have to be because that has not been happening. And because of what they believe in their ideology, they've been able to hold us down, I believe. And so my hope is that working with Governor Snyder and Matt and I have been talking about this a lot. Um, we have got to get them out of the way and let our people go. And I think with that, we're going to be in good shape. And one more thing. Thomas Jefferson said it. I always say it when I leave a meeting. He said, when the people fear the government, you have tyranny. But when the government fears the people, we have freedom. And I choose freedom. Thank you.